Welcome to episode 1107, Alejandro Bucaroni, second richest billionaire in Argentina. This is an outline of episode 1107. Let us meet Alejandro Bucaroni. The energy equation will not change too much. Um, of course, we'll have more participation of uh, electricity from wind power and from solar. But uh, I see the equation uh, with uh, fossil, fu fossil fuels, and mainly gas, uh, very strong for a long period of time. He was born in Rufino, a small town in Argentina in 1943. His father, an Italian immigrant. In 1948, when he was five years old, his father founded an energy company, Brightest Corporation. He was educated at the University of Buenos Aires, where he earned a degree in industrial engineering. In 1965, at the age of 22, he began working on his family's energy business. In 1985, his father died. He and his brother Carlos took over the family energy business. In the 1990s, Carlos Bucaroni was involved in gas exploration concession in Turkmenistan and Afghanistan. Bucaroni brothers suffered some serious setbacks. Twice, the gas concession was nationalized, first in Afghanistan and then later in Bolivia. Argentina is very rich in various energy resources. Of course. We have a lot of gas, a lot of resources. I hope very soon we'll become reserves. And the energy equation of Argentina is, has a lot of uh, uh, gas, natural gas as component. So I believe that this will continue for the future and uh, solar power. I think this is a very positive mood how he became a billionaire in 2011. And China, of course, is the biggest energy consumer in the world and it wants more and more control over oil and gas reserves. So it's on a shopping spree around the globe at the moment to try and secure those resources assets. First stop, Argentina. Sinook's playing, paying rather $3.1 for a half stake in crude oil producer Bridas Corp. Bridas has oil and gas reserves in Chile and Bolivia. Also owns 40% of Pan American energy which is Argentina's biggest oil exporter. sinook has been looking overseas for acquisition. In 2016, his younger brother, Carlos Bojaroni, died of cancer. Now he runs Brightus Solo. Size Energy, his other business interest is in winery. He has wineries in four continents. Mr. Don Alejandro Bulgeroni and his family. Only 10 years ago, Don Alejandro Bulgheroni hired Alberto Antonini to develop this land, this new Garçon Club is inside the Garçon Winery. The members can also make their own wine in... He thinks Argentina should be more aggressive in the use of technology. Uh, we need to be more aggressive with technology. I think uh, we are just, you know, friendly with technology. We have to be more aggressive. And that can be done, and I think we have a tremendous amount of uh, benefits to do that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Alejandro Bucaroni, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.